Next, let's take a look at some date functions. The first date function we will review is the getDate function. GetDate is used to return a date and time value. So the data type is a date time, data type, and it returns the date and the time of the computer on which the instance of SQL Server runs. So in other words, it returns the date and time on your computer. A practical example of how GetDate works is with instant messages. Most instant message application has a timestamp that, that, that shows the date and time messages were sent or received. An example is Facebook Messenger or even your local text messaging. Uh, but that will depend on your provider. Now, if you scroll through the messages, you, you're able to see the days or the dates or the day and the time. So for example, you could see Wednesday at 2.15 p.m. And this is called a timestamp. So let's switch over to SQL Server and see at the back end how the get date function allows us to achieve that timestamp or as it you know shows that timestamp on the front end. So I'll go ahead, I'm currently in the master database, so I will switch that over to company. You can switch it over to whichever database if you want. You can also create a new database to, to have this query to land the date functions. And then we can run this query. And uh, let's call this date functions. So the let's see first. I'm going to type out the syntax for for get, for get date, and then we'll talk further about it. So the syntax is we would use our select, and then just get date, and because it's a function, we have a parenthesis, and that's really it. If we run the query, so again it's just select, and then we use the get date function. When we run this, it shows us the date. So your date will be different, maybe different from mine, depending on when you're watching this video or when you run the command. So right now it's 2020, July 17, and the time is 8.40 a.m. and then you have 56 seconds and then you have a fraction of 077. So the get date functions returns the date on your computer or on the SQL Server instance. And of course we can use an alias and say current, we can call this current date and date and date time, right? So when we run this, it shows the current date and the current time, right? And you could say that, that even the time changed from the first time we ran it and now but let's actually put this into sort of a, a, a messenger. So we're going to create a new table. And the purpose of, the, of creating a new table is we want to see how we can use the get day to, to have different timestamp between two people that are texting each other. So we're just going to create that now. And to do that, we need, um, we need to create a new table. And let's call the table, let's say, um, let's call it messenger call it messenger and the columns we want is we want the username of the people will be texting each other and would we'll use a vaca for that vaca 50 we want the messages which is the content of what they're saying and let's let's just call it message and we'll call that we'll use vaca 200. Next, we now need the column that captures the date and the time which those messages are being sent between the users. So that it's going to be a, a date time column, and this is where we get to use the get date function. Let's call this column created at, and it will be a date time data type because we want to capture the date and the time 
And now what we want is since we won't be entering, we, we, we're not going to manually enter the date and the time. We want the system to generate that depending on when those messages are sent. So we'll use the, the, we'll use the get date function, but then we want the get date function to be a default value. Now it's been a while we used the default constraint, but we need to use that now in order to make the system capture by default the date and the time messages are sent. So all we need to do is we have a default constraint. And then now we use the get date function. We have our open and close parentheses. And now we have to close this because we're creating the, the table, the schema. We have to close, you know, we have the open parentheses and we have the closed one here, right? Okay, so let's just quickly go through this again. So we're creating a table, messenger table. We have the username of the people who are using the messenger. We have the message column that captures the content of the messages that will be sent. We have the created ads, which captures the dates and the time the messages are being sent. And the default value for created ad would be the current date on your computer, which, and we're using the get date function to retrieve that. So let's go ahead and create this. Okay. So the next thing will be to, and maybe let's just uh, select the all from messenger just to see what it looks like without entering records yet. So we have our three columns, the username, we have the message, and we have the created app. Okay. So next, let's insert some records into our table. And insert into Messenger. And what do we want to insert? We want to insert username. And we want to insert message. So we don't have to insert anything into created out because that's going to, we have a default value for that, which is the current date and time on your computer. So now let's enter the values. And let's say the first username is, um, let's say Bob, let's say it's Bob 101. Okay. And we could simply just say Bob, but let's say Bob 101. And let's say Bob's message, Bob stands texting a friend. And let's say the first message is A. Um, hey, what's what? What are you up to? What are you up to? Right. So that's the first message. Okay. And let's run this. Let's enter this. Okay. Let's view our table just to see what it looks like. So we have the username Bob. You know, let's just call this person Bob. So Bob sent a, sent a message, hey, what's, what are you up to? And now we can see that it shows the date and the time of that message. Now, of course, within your instant messaging application, whether it's a text message or, or even a Facebook messenger, it's not going to be displayed this way. And we'll get to that in, in later videos. But right now we can see that the date, you know, and the time of this message has been captured, right? So let's say the, I'm going to copy this, just paste it. And now let's change and let's call this other person. Let's say, let's just call this person Dave. And Dave is now responding and says nothing, nothing much. What are you up to? All right. And let's enter that response. Okay. Now let's look at, let's print it out. So now we have Dave's responding, right? Now it's going to be the same dates. I mean, at least it is for me, but you could see that there is a difference in time. So Bob's message came in at 8.52, you know, 8.52 AM. And then Dave's response is at 8.53 AM. And then you have the seconds, right? Let's enter a couple more messages. I'm just going to copy, I'll copy Bob's message. And let's change this to, 
Um, what are you up to? So let's say, let's say just chilling. Might go out for a run later. All right. So Bob is saying, hey, just just chilling. I might go out for a run later. Okay. So we have that, and let's say Dave is going to respond now. Okay, and let's say Dave says, um, Dave says, cool. Um, let me know when you are back. Um, so I have something to tell you. All right, so Dave is responding now saying, okay, cool. Now just let me know when you're back and I have something to tell you. Let's run that. And let's say Bob is the curious type and wants to know right now. And so Bob say, let's say Bob says later. No, man. Just tell me now. In LOL and maybe it's not even laughing but all right so we have that and let's do one more response and let's say Dave's response now is and let's say Dave responds back also with LOL and says that's not a big deal relax I will call you in an hour. Alright. And maybe with a smiley face. <laughs> now, there are ways we can. Well, you know, I'm just going to take this out for now. <laughs> um, I mean, it's fine, but it's just going to. It's not going to be displayed in a, the. In a, there's a little bit more trick to do for us to show um, emojis and things like that. So we won't go there now. <laughs> okay, so. So. Um, I was responding here. Uh, oh, okay. So this is Dave. I think I username is Dave. Okay. All right. So we have Dave responding now. So Bob says later. No man, just tell me now. And Dave is gonna say Dave's username. So that's not a big deal. Relax. I'll call you in an hour. Okay. So let's run that. All right. So now let's take a look at our table. Messenger. And now we can see all of those conversation. We have, hey, what are you up to? And they respond saying, nothing much. What are you up to? Just chilling. My girlfriend run later. And Dave says, cool. Let me know when you're back. I have something to tell you later no man just tell me now uh, it's not a big deal relax i'll call you in an hour but you know what we're trying to focus on really is not the conversation it is the timestamp. so we see the different times of the the, the time step of those conversation you know 852 53 54 55 55 56